Hi, so the first thing to do is to create a virtual environment. So if you haven't already installed a virtual environment, just type in pip install virtual env like that. Um, but I've already done that, so I'm not going to. Um, so I'm going to create a new virtual environment like this. And this is going to help me keep all of the different installations that I have really organized. So uh, different versions are separated from different projects. And also it helps when you're working with other people and everyone's installing stuff into the project. And you need a way to communicate about what the dependencies are for your project to just get up and run on someone else's computer. Um, so I recommend it's like a good thing to start off doing. So now we have that, and so I'm going to activate it. Great. And now let's install Django. Okay, after Django is installed, if you do pip freeze, you can see what all of the installations are so far. You can do even text like this, and this will help you um, working with others because then they can get this requirements.txt and then they could do pip install dash r requirements.txt like that and then that way they can install all of the dependencies for the project. Okay so now that we have all of that set up let's um, let's create a Django project. So let, we'll do Django admin start project my site. Okay Great, so now it created my site, so let's go into that directory. And now inside of the site, we could create an app. And so that's what we have to do. Um, so let's do python manage.py start app, and we'll call it my app. Okay, great. And one of the things that we have to do when we're just starting off is we have to run this command, python manage.py migrate. <clears throat> This will be important also if you're using databases and you need to update your project. Um, but we won't do that in this one. So if we want to see what the site looks like right now without us having changed anything, we could just do python manage.py run server. And then we'll copy this. Okay, and this is what the site looks like right now. Okay, so now pull up all of your files um, in some kind of a text editor. I think Sublime Text is really nice to use. So here's what they look like. And then if we go into settings.py, inside of installed apps, type in my app so that your project can know about the app that we're building. Now let's make a home page. So here's urls.py, and this is one of the first steps that we'll have to take to make a home page. So I'm going to write this, and then I will explain it in a second. And first we'll have, we need a function, so we're going to say from my app import views, um, where it's these views right here, see in the upper left hand corner. And say if I wanted to just refer to it as v and say I want the Python function to be called index right here. So what's going to happen is when a user requests a page, Django is going to run through each of the URL patterns starting from the top, so starting from this one, and it's going to try to find a URL pattern that matches the, the incoming requested URL. So when we call the home page, this will be the one that will match, and then it's going to call this function, which we haven't written yet. Also something to note is that these are regular expressions. So now let's go back into, let's go to this views.py and we're going to create an index function and then we're going to return a response. We're going to say render to response. So this is what we need here. So we're going to return this and then Right here is going to be the HTML page that is going to be shown. So we'll, we can call it index.html. Okay, cool. So now let's make that index.html page. So let's go into my app and make a new directory called templates. 
and go into templates and then go, let's make an index.html page. Okay, there we go. Now we can run the server and see what it looks like. Oh, here's our old one. So let's refresh this. Great. So now here is our index page. Okay, so then the next thing that we will want to do is to make a more professional, uh, pretty page. So let's go get a template. So if we go into startbootstrap.com, and there's lots of free templates here. So this one's pretty nice. So I'm going to click download. Okay, so now let's pull up our project folders and then also the folders from this template that we've downloaded and then go into my site um, and then go into my site again and then create a folder and call it static and then we'll go into static and then just get all of these. Okay, cool. Now we have to get the index.html. Okay, so let's copy that and put it into this one. Okay. Now what we're going to have to do is we have to figure out a way for Django to know where the static files are and when they're requested inside of this HTML page to know where to look for for them. So. <clears throat> that's going to take a few steps. Uh, the first step to do is to go into settings.py. Okay, so then go into settings.py and then here we go. So this is this, this is what I'm adding right here. This stuff right here. Okay. And now let's go into index.html and at the very top we'll put this and then every time there's an href to a CSS file we have to specify its path in a little bit of a different way so we're gonna do this so notice how every time I saw a folder such as CSS um, other ones might be, let's see, we have CSS, font awesome, fonts. Anytime you see one of these folders right here, just put this at the very beginning and make sure it's wrapped in these single quotes. Okay, so now I have wrapped all of these just like that. And then we also have to go to the bottom and do it too because there's JavaScript down here. So, okay. And then the last thing that we have to do is go into urls.py and we're going to have to import something and add a pattern. Okay, so inside of urls.py, we want to say from django.contrib.staticfiles.urls, import this. At the very bottom, write this. Okay, good. So most of our static files are now linked. The only thing that we need to fix still is the images, but let's see what the site looks like when we just run it. Okay, so... And there we go. This is what the site looks like right now. Cool. So yeah, we'll still have to fix these images right here. <clears throat> this is kind of nice. I like I like these animations and and uh, there's some sliding going on. So now we will have to figure out how to handle that. Okay. So if we look for the images in here, you can see how it says like source equals image, but really we want to specify where those images are. They're actually inside of that static folder. So I'm going to highlight it with my cursor and then I'm going to press command D 
and just keep on and so just hold the command down and keep on pressing D. This is if you're in Sublime. This is called multiple cursors. And then you can type in static like that. See how I see how I'm typing and it's editing multiple things at once. It's really handy. Okay, cool. And then so now we have a path to it. And so let's refresh this. And there we go. So now it works. That's nice. I like this this site that someone made. Okay, so that is how you make a website using uh, using Django.